Welcome back to Lost Frontiers and Drowned Landscapes in Britain and Beyond. This is the second day after um, a day on Lost Frontiers, the North Sea and the West Coast of the UK. Today we're going big um, and we'll be seeing um, the results of, of wonderful projects around Britain and the world. Uh, there's going to be a few housekeeping notes just to say for the speakers that I have a large digital timer on my browser and that after 25 minutes of um, each um, um, presentation, I will pop up magically uh, to remind people that we're, we're coming, their time is, is nigh. Um, all of the uh, questions should be put through the chat um, and I'll, I'll, I'll give those at the, at, the, at the appropriate time at the end of each lecture. Um, so so do, don't be shy, but go, give us those questions when you can. Uh, today we're starting off with um, a a large, uh, someone who I'm sure everyone knows well, um, Jeff Bailey, um, who's going to be talking about um, the drowned land, the global context of drowned landscapes. Jeff is well known, I think, to everyone here. He's emeritus professor at the um, University of York, visiting professor at Flin Flinders. He's got research interests everywhere, actually. In Coast, coastal prehistory, tech, quaternary tectonic shell middens. You said he's done it and he's worked pretty much everywhere as well. Europe, Australia, Africa. He had a, an advanced grant um, looking at Saudi Arabia, but his PI on disperse, the dynamic landscapes, coastal environments and human dispersals, uh, partner investigator on the ARC Deep History of Sea Country project and is a member of ERC Sea Change, the Synergy project on marine ecosystems and of course very importantly chairman of the EU Cost uh, Action Splash Cause, um, Submerged Prehistoric Archaeology and Landscapes of the Continental Shelf. And if that doesn't whet your appetite for this nothing will. So I'm going to hand over to um, to Jeff and I'll be seeing him again in 25 minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs> 